So one of the strong recommendations in the report is, is particularly related to the NHS. The NHS is this jewel that we have and therefore it provides the opportunity to make a step change in this discipline um, immediately. And so one of our recommendations is that NHS trusts themselves recognise this discipline for their benefit by appointing a biomedical engineer in chief or a chief biomedical engineer. Um, and we think that would be a step change that would be fantastic. It would do many things for patients and for healthcare in general and also for the discipline. There are two fundamental problems in the UK. Um, we're not the only country with these problems but they're particularly acute here. One is a gulf historically between engineering and medicine and engineers and medics just don't for some reason click together. The second problem, uh, which is a, always a problem with any new technology or new subject that comes into play, is that it's fragmented. So biomedical engineering includes aspects of mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, sensor technology, materials technology, computer software and so on. Uh, all these things come together for a biomedical engineer. Uh, but currently when a, someone graduates in biomedical engineering, they have to choose which institution shall I belong to. These days there are a lot of degree courses available specifically focused on biomedical engineering and in fact um, there are around 21 universities in the UK offering somewhere in the region of 70 plus degree courses on biomedical medical engineering and, and different parts of that discipline. So uh, in itself, it, it is a very burgeoning uh, sort of uh, discipline in, in its own right. Um, so we here at the institution want to encourage those people that are training to be uh, biomedical engineers to actually come and, and um, reside here within the institution. So I think this is just pressure that has been building over years. So our government funding bodies, for example, recognise this is an important area and have started assigning more resource into this. But they've been doing that in a fragmented way, as different individuals have seen the light at the end of the tunnel and have decided to support it. There are many graduates coming out, so what are they trying to do? They now have the skills to apply to the human body. They have the skills to recognise that they can address problems of an ageing population. But the environment is not there to receive them effectively, and so we need to do something there in terms of regulation, in terms of uh, professional accreditation and all those things. So the timing is really more like a wave that's just been building and growing and, and we feel the time is now because we've reached critical mass. Modern hospitals are increasingly becoming technology led and the equipment that's being used in hospitals is becoming as important actually as the, the medical care and what we're looking for in this report and as a profession is a recognition that actually clinicians and engineers need to work together in modern healthcare systems and the, the technology that's being used uh, and developed which uh, can benefit individual patients together with the medical skills of the surgeons, the clinicians, the nurses uh, needs to be combined so we can get the best of all possible worlds for, for the benefit of individual patients.